Hi folks, it's holiday season, so I'm doing an upload from here in Pembrokeshire where I'm staying for a couple of weeks. The video this week is of a build which involved a lot of built-in lighting. You may question the slightly old-fashioned arched details of the project, but I'm not really going to go into that. I've decided to focus mainly on the lighting system. Now, as you know, if you watch this channel, I like to share tips and information that I would have loved to have been told when I was starting out in fitted furniture. So it's stuff that I hope will fast track you if you do this as a business to doing things quicker, easier and making more money. And if that is the case with anything I share, feel free to give me a tip through buymeacoffee.com. Uh, it's something new I'm trialing. Uh, give it a go, no obligation. If you do give it a go, um, do give me feedback about how well it works for you because it's meant to just be very easy. Um, if you do that, I'm including a direct link in the little thank you message to a sort of crib sheet that's hidden away on my Instagram feed. You get a direct link to a crib sheet for the Luke system, which I hope will be useful. Okay, enjoy the video, and um, all feedback is always welcome in the comments below. Thanks. We're partway through the install of a particularly complicated project today. I'm going to just do this one video and otherwise the, the video that I put out will be photos and a bit of music. Um, I thought I'd focus on the lighting because people show interest in that um, and a, a few little comments on the complexity of assembling this. So we've brought to site the laptop with the design because we keep finding we need to refer to how things overlap and interlock in order to get them built correctly. One of the first challenges we had was the floor slopes uh, down by 38 millimeters. And because this project uh, contacts the ceiling, because we're having new coving fitted around the front of it, we don't have a lot of tolerance there. Uh, we're going to fit these sort of comb shaped things to the ceiling to receive the coving. Um, and then there's a, a small tolerance where the units will stop below that. And we've done it with a sort of movement gap covered by a cornice on the units. Um, so when we set out, we just wanted to be sure that the level we, we set at isn't going to become too tight to the ceiling. So that was the first problem. There's also some gas piping to cap off and things like that. Uh, and a, an old stone hearth to remove, in fact. Um, the other big challenge we're having is the lighting. So I'll talk you through that. We're using the Hayfully 12 volt Lux system. So this is the driver. You can get drivers at different different power ratings. Um, in fact, there's two drivers. There's one that runs both the alcoves and there's one that runs the TV unit, which will go in here. It's a plug and play system, which is why we like it. So the light cables just go into sockets at the end with these easily removable fittings. They also can be extended. So if you see here, that one's that's got an extension and then the plug in a similar way sorry not the plug the, uh, the switch plugs in here with a different type of fitting so you know what's what and what goes where and for this this job we're using a dimmer switch so it plugs in the back there that'll go into a 12 millimeter hole and that's wave activated so if you just wave your hand or finger across that turns them on and off. If you hold over it, it uh, moves them through a dimming cycle. Now the cable to the lights, it connects to the light strip with a sort of clip fitting like this. Yeah, so that just unclips like that. The strip goes in there, you have to pay attention to your positive and negative. There's a red dot under that. That clips under there, that then has a little pin that goes into that hole and that holds it securely. That then is all self-adhesive and we've put that into an aluminium track that has a sort of domed cover. And uh, because each shelf has a light, we've then got these, these interconnecting cables which have the same clip at each end. So all these different types of connections are available in the Hayfully system. And what we've done is just to check that everything's working before sticking it in. We've cut everything to length, connected it up, 
and tested it. We'd already done the same thing with this one and it was working. So um, yes, it is working there. It's just very dimmed. So we've, we've gone on and put the, the cap. Yeah, so we've, we've put the cover caps on top of that. We've been careful to size the lips so that they visually hide the strips because we don't we don't want to see the bright light of the strips we just want to see the glow okay well i think i'll leave it at that and i'll just drop in some photos of the whole thing being installed